Oh, hello. Tonight we are going to be making some pavlova cookies. Pavlova. 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 First, we put in six room temperature egg whites. You want to pour them in? Want yeah. to pour them in? Okay. There. And then we're just going to let our mixer do the work on medium speed for about a minute so they're nice and fluffy. Now that they are nice and foamy here, we'll put that already here, you can see in there. Now slowly, we're going to return it back to medium, and then we are going to add our sugar in at low to medium speed here. So let's we'll do it probably about a two or three, and then just a little bit at a time. No, not a big dump, because a big dump is going to mess it up. We're just going to do a little spoonful of time, and while you're doing that, you just want to go until you don't see the sugar anymore. And this should take about two to three minutes to do. The trick is just do it until you see that sugar disappear before you start the next one. And we have a cup and a half sugar total here. Okay, now that's it. We're going to turn up to a medium, medium high speed on the whisk here. until we get a glossy, steep, stiff peaks of these egg whites and they come basically a beautiful meringue. So we'll come back in about five minutes when it's all ready. And we've gotten where we want. Stiff peaks are gonna look just like that on your whisk. They're gonna be nice and firm. They don't really go anywhere when you do it. Only a little with gravity, but we got our tablespoon of lemon juice. Can you put that in there? Okay. Honey, honey. And we're gonna, there we go. And then we're gonna add one and a half teaspoons of vanilla here. Okay, and then we're going to mix it a special way called folding. Riley, you ready to learn folding? Mm -hmm. You're just going to turn it over, bring it to the center, until you get all the flavors in there. If you want a super white pavlova, like a pure driven snow style one, you're going to want to use a non or colorless vanilla. But we're fine with this. So we're just bringing it over and folding it there. Do we have it? There we go. We just want to get everything incorporated in there. I put in two teaspoons of cornstarch and fold that in as well. So I put our pavlova batter into a pastry bag. So we're just going to pipe these onto a cookie sheet. The good thing about pavlova is it doesn't really... Uh, expand or rise too much or melt so you don't really have to worry about that you want to make a ring with it there just a little emptier spot in the middle there doesn't have to be huge a couple of these are there so i'm just gonna good part is it keeps its shape so if you do end up like that where you have ones that don't they get that little peak from how you do it you can always just take a spoon with a little bit of water on it there The oven for at 225. All right, and here are our pavlova cookies out of the oven. They cooked for about 70 minutes, and then we turned off that oven and let them sit in the oven to uh, finish cooking for about 30 minutes. You can see a light golden brown color on them, but otherwise they look pretty white and clear. All right, so our cookies have cooled a good amount and they're cool to the touch, you can pick them up. And they should come off pretty clean like that when you take them off the plate tray. Don't worry if they stick just a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dress them sort of like a normal pavlova. We're gonna put a little bit of whipped cream and then just top with a few pieces of fresh fruit here. And then serve them. These cookies will keep for quite a good amount of time as long as you keep them uh, in a nice cool dry environment but I wouldn't dress them until you're about ready to serve them but once you serve them serve them within four hours and you should be good to go and enjoy